the entrance gate to the Cold War Museum and the Aerospace Museum as it used to be known. This orca hunter has for a number of years been welcoming visitors to the museum. But today it is not the museum we are going to. This is the Large Model Association's flagship event. And as the full-size Pawnee prepares to pick up the banner and welcome us to Cosford, the event draws huge crowds, so big that you'd hardly a job to walk on Sunday down the aisleways. But it is very pleasing to see so many people with such an interest, but it is such a varied and interesting show that you can understand people coming from all over the UK, Ireland and the continent of Europe, and maybe even further afield. And this year we have a visiting team from Germany who will later be demonstrating their models. It is quite exciting. I'm not going to put a lot of commentary on, but it will be worth you staying to watch. And I hope you enjoy it, because I enjoyed every minute of it. And we'll definitely go back again next year. Weather permitting, of course, at this part of rural Shropshire, there's no predicting accurately. But we can be hopeful. As we pass through all the ages of aeroplanes, from biplanes through to the latest jets, you'll notice that I haven't taken pictures of a lot of flying models, beyond my ability. I usually operate a video camera, but today I thought I would try something different and do it as a slideshow. Helena, one of my favourite aeroplanes. We will now move away from the biplanes to the heavies of the 1930s and 40s and the real heavies from that period. There's some interesting stuff, it takes quite a long time to browse through it. But we will now move on to the one-third scale models of the Dawn Patrol from the Great War period. I find these large models very impressive. At one-third scale they have a presence, especially when they're flying. But now not only do we have the visuals, we have these multi-cylinder engines giving us the realistic sound and the smell of caster. It would be interesting to know what that braided rope on the prop was originally intended for. It is poignant to see these replica machines flying in such large numbers. It is a wonderful sight to see now, but looking back and reflecting, it is a chilling sight. Then another thought springs to mind. When I was younger, I remember these fellows. From the flying, the navy and the land forces. They were young men in their prime. Now it's a long time ago and they've gone. And all that is left is these memories. So touching, so exhilarating, yet so sad. With today's temperatures running at around 27, what could be nicer than a hand-pulled ale? Real ale. Or well, a decent scrumpy pack, perhaps. I like that. In the background you can see one of the day's fatalities. Unfortunately flying low, it clipped the runway, broke the front off. But onwards and upwards, as they say, we will visit the trade area. You see some rare pilots there, some nice stuff. And if you want lights for your models, plenty of them. A lot of second-hand models for sale, 
B-17 if you want one. The BMFA had their simulator trailer here today. It's brilliant. Have a look at it if you see it at one of the events. I didn't have a go. I haven't twiddled sticks for years. This interested me. There were some really nice little finds if you had the time to look around. This was a little gem. And this pullover, or sweatshirt I think you'd call it. It's an antique. Must almost be as old as me. Brilliant though, wasn't it? Must be the nicest one of the day. Oh, this was a real little beaut. Knocked me over. Building an N-gauge railway on the back of this wagon. There was smoke coming out of that house, by the way. Houses being built. Little farmyard one end. Absolute gem. Why aren't I artistic enough to do something like that? It fascinated me. I loved it. Now, towards the end of the day, it is time for the grand finale. It is very impressive. There will be smoke, there will be fire, there will be noise and exhilaration. And we will listen as Delphine sings to her boyfriend, away in the armed forces, her memories, her thoughts, her fears. So touching. models are making their way back to their parking area now. I enjoyed that. It was a great display. I think perhaps the best Cosford I've ever seen. Hopefully the next one will be as good, or even better. Super, wasn't it? As the event comes to an end and the model flying winds down, we will finish with the Vulcan, which we started with at the beginning. 
and as the evening light starts to fade, the aerobatic glider will give a lights and fireworks display. Very interesting. I hope you enjoyed this, if you weren't there. If you were there, you will know how good it was. Thank you. Goodbye.